You guys want to see something real cool? Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, uh, the toy department. Anyway, check it out. I got all six of the the new figures to the build a figure to build the Wendigo. I'm so happy. I know what you're thinking right now. You're counting, right? You're you're trying to math right now. You can't figure things out. Why am I saying six when I'm only seeing five? Right? Well, because it's teleporting. Boom, bamf! <laughs> we got Nightcrawler too. We got all of them, baby. We got all these guys. And yeah, I think most have been waiting for this guy for the freaking longest time. Granted, I'm in Canada, so uh-huh, uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. But Mr. Sinister, this is the one that I was the most excited for. Get out of the way, you bunch of mutants, sir, how dare you? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so right here, these are my two absolute favorites. Gotta go with it. And then I'm just like, what? But but this is also, I'm like, but, but boom, boom, she just, like, she's gonna hang out with Jubal. And then I was like, okay, I gotta just get them all because there's the Wendigo. I'm just saying, and this guy, he doesn't believe that <laughs> these guys have a chance against him. So let's get to, to pulling this stuff apart. Let's try and build a build a figure. Look at the other figures. And yeah, Marvel Legends, when to go build a figure. Bath, baby. Okay, so we're going to start off with, with what's probably everybody's least favorite one. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, but I'm going to take this thing. Look at this. There's... There's totally a mean way to open these things. <laughs> I'm not a, not a particularly huge fan of these things just being able to pull out like that. Uh, yeah, you ruined the box. I don't honestly care. I know there's a bunch of speculators right now. Oh my God! Yeah, I just don't care about the boxes. I care about the toys. That's what I care about. I'm a huge fan of the toys. Anyway, uh, I'm not a fan of the way that they have this, but honestly, if this is what's going to save them money so they can keep on putting these things out at the rate that they've been putting them out, then I am totally, totally okay with it. So we got the first Build-A-Figure piece right here, the leg. We're going to put that off to the side, save the set. <laughs> We're going to pull this guy out here. Boom! Just that simple. Okay, so he's got articulation in the head. He's got his typical articulation uh, right here, as you'd expect. Almost kind of hope that you'd be able to pull his elbow. Ah, I guess, you know what? They can pull back this way, so that's actually good enough. This is the kind of pose I'm used to him typically seeing. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this, and I gotta be honest, if this thing were to come off nice and easily, if it would just pop off, which I don't know that it will politely pop off. Oh, it does, this politely pops off. That's a potentially good thing, why? Because at any time, Marvel Legends can just give us the legs. At any moment, they can give us the legs. We got the, the blaster base, this is cool, no complaints. Pops right back in, boom, no issues. No issues, that's awesome. So I have, no complaints about this, as long as they do have it in their, their mindset to possibly give us a set of legs for this guy. I don't think that's the hardest thing in the world to do. And yes, it does look different than if you were to pop off the other parts. They don't pop off quite so easily. You actually have to start breaking some pieces apart. Uh, a lot of us do retrofitting, right? Anyway, he could pull his elbows back nice and far like that so that he can you know actually look like he's blasting. If I had to make a complaint, is that it doesn't by itself have something so that you can actually lean him forward. Like that kind of bothers me a little bit, but there's always those little pieces to hold up parts or, you know, you could just, depending on how far you're gonna go, just a little something and just, nah, see, that's, it's not gonna make it easy. Nope, nope, unfortunately it's not gonna work. You're gonna have to get one of those little, um, the Mafex pieces have whatever, all these different little pieces to hold up something and lean them back. Yes, you can have something in the back. Uh, sometimes I use fishing wire. I actually have fishing wire to hold up some of my figures that I actually want to show flying, like Captain Marvel and the Wasp and the Falcon. Characters who just, if they're not flying, they don't look right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got Spider-Man and Superior Spider-Man swinging on webs. I got uh, one of my Spider-Man actually hanging by glue upside down on a wooden uh, alcove. So yeah, you know, I do a bunch of cool things with uh, my, my characters. Um, I like right here that the, uh, whatever this this the, these these things uh, for his his cap his little almost to his open uh, open air concept toque um, will actually open and so you can actually have him flying obviously if you want you just uh, apply a little bit of heat and have it uh, so it sticks out like this and stays out like that like just a couple seconds with um, a, a hair dryer will do it so it actually look like he's flying in one direction as opposed to just hanging on the bottom. But they're very malleable, very malleable. Even just doing one of these and holding it for a couple of moments, you can see it, it doesn't want to go back to its regular place quite so quickly. So you can have a whole lot of fun with this. 
This will obviously come completely off if you want, if you want to pull the arms off and then pop these guys out, put in some bare arms or, or you know, you can even just paint them white, whatever you want, you know, paint these ones white, whatever you want to do. Um, I like that the gloves actually come out a little bit, if you can see that. Um, they're, they're not uh, completely malleable, but they, they are, you can move them. As far as the elbow joints, they go all uh, all the way in that far. That's not too shabby, especially with the big cuffs there, like that. This is like honestly, I know a lot of people complaining about this base. The base is very easy to just give them real legs. Uh, in, um, in combination with this, you can always make your own legs. It's not the hardest thing in the world to just make your own legs. So I, I don't find that as a huge complaint point. Let's uh, go over here with some of these other figures. I'm gonna <laughs> open these a little bit nicer than uh, the other ones. Uh, well, then the other one I just did, because I know there's a bunch of people still having a heart attack from the uh, the previous way, just open that cannonball. So, you got all these parts in here. You got this hand that's actually got the boom uh, attached to it for boom boom. And you've got a separate boom so she can actually throw it. That's cool. I'm digging, I, I have no complaints about more parts like that. You got this other hand. Uh, this, it's funny, this looks like another uh, right hand. We don't really need another right hand though, do we? It actually comes with two right hands. Why exactly would we need two right hands? Huh, I mean, I guess you could try and fake it, but that is clearly a right hand. And it's the left hand we would need a regular one for. Huh, did mine just come as a mistake? That's interesting, that's very interesting. As time goes on, I'll have to get a better stage. Okay, so I've learned my lesson from my uh, Jubilee that I have that this gum does not just pull out. <laughs> it would be really sweet if they made it so that it was just on a little bit of a stick and I could just pull the gum out. If you pull the gum out, you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to glue the piece back in. I've got cement glue, um, epoxy and whatnot, and you know, just a little dab and put it back in and it'll hold for a little while, but the slightest little, uh, and it'll come right off. So no, this bubble does not come out easily. It is not meant to come out. Anyway, got her, her glasses that are like directly a part of her face. You got the one hand without the replacement. Um, otherwise you're just gonna have two left hands. Literally, there's two right hands on here. Um, I like that this part, so this part can very easily come out. Uh, I could just pull this back, like it, yeah, it's clear as day. I could pull both of these arms back and I could pull this completely off if I wanted to. The belt uh, probably does not have, oh no, it looks like it might. Is that, no, no, the belt is not meant to come off. You could always clip it and glue it back on again. It's not that hard for those of us who know how to do it. Um, it's not even that hard to learn how to do it, honestly. Uh, just gotta be a little brave. If you wanna modify your figures, just be a little brave. So this part, uh, this belt bandolier, the leg bandolier, it's on there. Um, your typical female character where the arms will bend. Hmm. Okay, mine's a little bit difficult, but it does bend as they always do. It'll only bend to this far. That's not particularly far. And then uh, it's got the swivel down there. It doesn't have the double jointed elbows. Uh, like that, unfortunately. So, uh, whatever. It is what it is. That's kind of what I've come to expect from the female characters. They don't have quite as much artic articulation. Uh, they bend at a swivel right under the, the bosom, uh, as opposed to the hips. Uh, that's to, to keep the body, uh, whatever, um, so you can move it. Uh, not a whole lot of articulation with the legs. This is as far as she can go. She, will, she has never seen a split, but you can always twist it in a way so she could do a sideways split, but there is no full, there is no martial arts split where you go down on the side. Um, regular with the knees, they go really far. The leg parts come up and come down, you know, if, if you so choose. So you can always do a paint over if you want. The hair on this, gorgeous. I love the hair. Love the way the hair goes. I love the way that it feels, all of that. There's of course another head and it's the, exact same head we pull out the the left leg of wendigo while we're at it got that so here's the other head the glasses do stay on it doesn't look like they come off at all nope they don't uh doing that would actually destroy the the character you could tell right down there so yeah um this is this is cool so 
And when does Boom Boom ever really take off her shades anyway, right? So that's the second character down. Let's open up what's next. You know what? Let's open up Wolverine because I am a huge Wolverine fan as is, well, pretty much everybody. I mean, who doesn't like, like who actually hates Wolverine, right? And this is the X-Force version uh, the, of Wolverine. The, uh, <clears throat> the covert ops version and he only comes with the wendigo head that's all he's gonna come with and uh he doesn't even come with uh the the clawless hands he literally just comes like this now these are very interesting claws so so you can't you can pop these off of course you can always pop off these uh these hands and put on a, uh, a different set of hands, but you're gonna have to actually make the black hands, you know, if, if, if you don't have a pair of black hands or whatever, you're just gonna have to put them on so that he's got the popped in claws hands. But he's got the red eyes, you know, for the infravision that these costumes do for all the, uh, this version of the X-Force. Cyclops finally says, all right, we need a team that's willing to kill Wolverine. And, so, and he's like, okay, finally, Scott, finally. Anyway, these are very different claws than what I'm used to seeing extremely different like look at these they're long um they actually they're, they're they're thicker at the top so much like sometimes the they'll be drawn in the comic books there's no way that these would go back inside of his hands but at the same time this also doesn't measure to go inside so uh the comic books have always drawn them to be very weird and in this particular case just like when they were in the comic books they did draw his claws to be much more deadly these are much more for raking he could do a zen garden rock garden if he wanted to but these are awesome and also you'll notice these don't these don't mess around both sides this is the thing that I love the most about these. Look, this one. Oh, it's a little bit in. And uh, what do you call it? But that's just from its being in the packaging. If you leave it and just, if you if you want to just bend it a little bit, it'll go back to normal. Or if you want to put something in there, apply a little bit of heat to it, whatever, it'll go back to fully. Look, that barely even messing with it outside of the box. And it looks good already. Looks good already. These are awesome claws. I do not like that it doesn't come with a spare set without the claws in it. But you know what? It is what it is. They don't come out. No, I'm checking. Um, this is this is different than a, a, a few of the other molds that we have here. Uh, just a bit different. A couple little differences here. They're like it's sharp down here instead. This really does look like like it's actually sharp. I'm saying sharp because like it, it, it caught onto my uh, my thumb a little bit. But it really looks exactly like the comic books. The um, belts aren't as big as the old um, the Jubilee the Jubilee wave. The belts aren't as, and you know, the banded buckles for the boots and the and the arms aren't as thick as those. Uh, and I don't actually have that Wolverine, unfortunately. That's my favorite one. I'd really love to get my hands on it, but I know that I won't. Uh, but it is what it is. Anyway, yeah, the belt is um, uh, like this. You know, it, it won't come off unless you make it come off. But one of the things that I love, um, Spider-Man and certain other characters like that, and yes, with Wolverine, they should always come with this. Uh, this is not nearly as 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 good as you know the 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 shoulder swivels like this the in and out um, the Z swivels they're not nearly as good as a Spider Man they don't need to be as good as a Spider Man but they do have to be good enough so that he can have his um, listen that ratchet God I love that sound that's a nice tight figure so you can actually jury rig the elbows a little bit on your own or the, excuse me the shoulder joints like this to have him, uh, I would actually prefer if it was wider because I want him to actually be able to spread, you know, his arms out wide like he's doing shoulder presses, you know what I'm saying? The wings uh, so that he can actually come down and attack somebody. But that's still really cool. Um, he's still a short character. I can compare him to, uh, I'd have to like really dig to find all of my Wolverine characters, but you know, he, he's very comparable size to the motorcycle Wolverine over here. Um, what do you call it? You know, obviously they'll both fit on the, the motorcycle, but um, you know, you can see what I was saying about the claws. Some of these claws, they're not as good, like <laughs> kind of uh, juked out a little bit. They're a little weird, but whatever. And obviously, you know, you don't have the claws that, that uh, or the hands that don't have the claws, the clawless hands. Uh, you don't have that with, uh, with these. All the other Wolverines I've ever purchased have had two different sets of hands, clawed and unclawed. And this one only has clawed, so there's that. But um, comparable size, comparable body shape, 
Um, yeah, all in all. And yes, the heads are interchangeable. Um, all that good stuff. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I'm actually, oh, my foot is falling asleep. Okay, let's pull out the Guardian. Let's pull out Alpha Flight's original leader, the Guardian, James Hudson of Department H. Well, the original leader of Alpha Flight was actually supposed to be Wolverine, but then he quit. <laughs> Go see uh, Incredible Hulk number, uh, actually Giant Size X-Men issue number one for that, which came out in between issue number 93 and 94 of the Uncanny X-Men. So this one comes with the Wendigo's torso and tail. So boom, that's so uh, what do we got? Uh, my, I'm Italian, but I have a fake Italian accent. <laughs> so, you know, wow, his legs are actually in there, so they stay in that pose. That's interesting. So you actually have to, have, okay, I'm going to have to actually cut that just for the sake of brevity. And yes, practice appropriate knife safety. Never cut towards yourself. I just cut away. Okay, that's gone. And this is all that it is. That's really all that it has to be also. I wish I could have gotten my hands on that Puck Wave back when that came out. The Emma Frost, the Cyclops, the... Uh, I forget what the other one was because I don't have them. Uh, I have the Emma Frost, but I bought that uh, individually from someone. But yeah, I really wish I could get that Puck. Uh, you know, I've got Sasquatch now. I've got... Um, Wendigo now, and I've got James Hudson, the Guardian. Hey, man, <laughs> let's let's get all the other characters going, including a Puck, for crying out loud. Who would have ever thought they'd do a Build-A-Figure for Puck? Anyway, uh, as standard as they come, the good uh, ab crunch waist. Um, if they wanted to really, really, really make me happy, they would have given him uh, the regular head also, because there's a good chance that we're never going to see his regular head again. But if we wanted to cheat... We could probably just use a Steve Rogers. Let's be realistic. If we have an extra Steve Rogers head, we could even uh, change it up a little bit. Most of the Marvel characters are blonde haired, blue eyes, right? Uh, the DC characters are always brown hair, brown eyes, right? Um, or blue or blue eyes also. It's always easier to do the blue eyes. They're more striking, you know, back in the day. But anyway, um, most of Marvel characters are blonde haired. So you just use, you know, anything that you want along those lines. So the comic book version and then you're golden. Now, Mine is having a little bit of a problem here with that's a you hear that ratchet? That's a huge damn, that's a popping ratchet right there. That's a little bit too much. So I'm probably gonna have to wear that down a little bit. I'm not gonna waste your time doing that all on camera. See, this is how far it's supposed to go. This is how far this one goes for now. Uh it's just been in the packaging for too long and that interesting pose yeah there we go so just be careful make sure you're not going to bend the joint inside of this bicep swivel uh that's the most important part because if that comes off you your character is armless <laughs> i mean you know you're you're kind of screwed you're talking about gluing it back on and it's never ever ever going to be the same it's not going to be posable anymore okay so put that down there all right i gotta pull out my boy right now gotta pull out mr sinister because he is the sinister one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. Just all of this right here. Ho, ho, ho. How you doing? Get rid of that thing. Let's pull out this arm. We got the right arm for Wendigo. Come on out, baby. There we go. And we got the sinister one himself. Let's pop all of this out. And... Oh, that's the easiest I've ever pulled out a caped figure's cape ever. Oh, my God. I didn't realize this. He's got two sets of capes. This is very different from the original one, where it was only the one set and it didn't look that great. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hasbro went out of their way and made two sets of the capes. Oh, bravo. Bravo, my friends. Okay. Okay. So I've, that's, it's kind of a weird gimp right there for the, the elbow. It's kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I can see it plain as day. It kind of sticks out a little bit, but whatever, whatever. That'll, mm, sometimes the figures do that is what it is. Anyway, yeah, this is, okay, he's got a great ab crunch forward. Not so great back. It looks like he's just standing up straight, but that's actually straight. So, okay, a little bit. Um, love the face. Love the face. Mr. Sinister doesn't need any other faces. 
I know that everybody, myself included, we always like getting an extra head. Um, I could care less for Mr. Sinister. This is Mr. Sinister's face. If he were dead on the ground, uh, having been shot by Cyclops, uh, one of the few things that could penetrate him, yeah, this would still be how he looks when he's dead on the ground. Uh, yeah, that's still him. So I'm okay with that. Oh my God, the, the, the uh, what are these called? The Jack Boots right up in here. You know, jackbooted thug that he is <laughs> with the little little tiny uh, over the front cuffs. Yep, yep. Oh, man. This is one of the most beautifully done figures. These big shoulder uh, tufts up here. This is one of the most beautiful figures that I've ever seen. And I've got a lot of Marvel Legends, my peeps. A lot of Marvel Legends. Look at that. The beach is that away. Uh, yeah, this is gorgeous. Look at this. The little... They've got every de every single detail. Every single detail is perfect on this character. It's kind of like a crew top. Look at that. The only thing I wish, if I if I could have had if I if I had to get picky, is that I like the open and closed hands. So this has them. I'd like them to be reversed also. I would like an open right hand and a closed left hand. But as far as the heads, nah, this is one of the few figures where I'm just like, nope, I don't need a second head for this guy. Don't need him. Probably don't need a different head for a cannonball either, is what it is. Um, there's plenty of heads going around for uh, um, Wolverine. <laughs> plenty. So we don't need any more. Okay. I know everybody's waiting for this uh, Nightcrawler, right? Let me see what I can do about getting this Nightcrawler out. Ah, there we go. There we go. Practice knife safety. So... If this, uh, the uh, the one hand is like leaning down, that's okay. Um, I'm good with it. There's that extra hand, so you got the, the two open hands, right? And then the one closed, almost like a fist right over here, sorry. Right over there. Uh, but you got the one open one also. That, perfect. Perfect! Um, I can't wait to see the tail. I love that it's got the sword. Do you guys know what the sword is named? Five seconds. It's always named in the comic books as in E-P, E-E-P-E, -E -E, an E-P, and uh, maybe it's E-P, I don't actually care about the pronunciation, I just know about that. Anyway, it'd be nice if he had three, okay? I know it's going to sound like it's a bit much, but it'd be nice if he had three. Um, and the big question is, will his tail actually hold the E-P? Because both of his hands will. Okay, so you got the dark face that looks... You know, his angry, you know, shadowy, I'm um, in combat face that we've seen in uh, X2. You got that head. We've got this head where he's just kind of smiling, kind of at rest, whatever. And then we've got the critical thinking face that's on him. Uh, he is a philosopher in so much that he is very religious. Let me pull out the left arm, the final piece of the Wendigo. Okay, so... I gotta know right now, does it hold the EP? And no, it does not. You could always pose it though, and you can hook the, can you? I think you can, I'm speaking before I know. Okay, I'm sure that there's those, um, those transparent rubber bands where you can actually have this hooked here and have that there also, and you can actually have it so that it's holding the sword back here. If you're just gonna pose this, if you're gonna put this in some kind of a display or something like that, then you could easily, e very easily do that. Uh, if you're doing it for stop motion or something like that, not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, he holds the sword very well in the hand like this. You see that? Holds it very well there. Will he hold it well like this? I'm gonna have to try and open this up. It's just a, nah, this is more of a fist. This is more of a fist. He doesn't wanna, I mean like, I'm sure you could wedge it in there, but I really wouldn't wanna do that. You can't even, the thumb is even bent in like a fist, so it's not even meant to be holding on to something. So, got the EP. That's gorgeous. Thank you very much for the EP. Bang! Now I've got the two best friends, Wolverine and and um, uh, Nightcrawler, so that's awesome. Uh, this thing has got to have ultimate articulation. Okay, so, like, it's Nightcrawler. If anybody, anybody had better acrobatics ability than Spider-Man, it would be Nightcrawler because they both have very similar agility. He doesn't have a danger sense, but he does have training as a circus, as the amazing Kurt Wagner. Um, so yeah, he should be able to uh, not necessarily dodge bullets the way that Spider-Man does, but he's, he's much more agile than Spider-Man is. I've always 
said that in regards to the comics. And he does indeed have, much like Wolverine, except far better. See, this is what I want Wolverine to have. So he could jump down with the claws down and be like, ah, bub. But uh, instead, this guy also just, you know, jumping from the trapeze straight down. Uh, trying to show uh, Nightwing how to do it. Because <laughs> he was also from the uh, circus. Let's check out the uh, elbow articulation for this guy. Going to have to give it a little assist there. Look at that. Look at that. He could practically grit. And you know what? I'll bet you if I were to bend it the right way, uh, I'd have to lose. Oh, no. There it goes. There it goes. He can almost grab his own shoulder. He can grab his top part. That's cool. He can almost grab his own shoulder. So that is solid articulation for Kurt Wagner. That is awesome. I have seen better articulation. And with him being so skinny, um, I can understand why it's a little bit more difficult. But, uh, you know, he is thin and frail. But, um, yeah, I've rarely seen better articulation for these guys. I think... Um, uh, Ebony Maw has better articulation than him for his elbows, the elbow joints. But still, this is this is good. This is, I'm not complaining about this. If anything, Kurt Wagner has to have great articulation. I kind of wish that the tail was on one of those bendy wires. That's the only way I think that this could be better. But this is still fantastic. I love this. Absolutely love this figure. Okay, now let's get down to the meat and potatoes, the nitty gritty, and let's put together a Wendigo. I want to get that screech, that loud screeching Wendigo that he does in the comics. Look how easily this thing puts together. Let me get rid of that. Oops. Let me make this a little bit easier for myself and put the, there we go. Put the elbow joint over here. And yeah, this, this fits together really nicely. You just want to make it so that the bicep is like this so that it fits in easily with the, uh, the tuft of hair over his shoulders. Oh, look at that. You got a little thing back here for his tail. I never had to put a tail on somebody before. There we go. Pin the tail on the Wendigo, baby. There we go. And there... Oh, wait. The Headless Children. You guys are all Wasp fans, right? All right. So, put this guy in there. And there we have it. The mother effing Wendigo. Boom. Make him bring his arms out like that. Just make him terrifying. Ready to go up against the Hulk and Wolverine. Yeah, put him next to his, his brother in fur. Yeah, you might notice that I've got <laughs> two, he's got two right feet as opposed to two left feet. Um, uh, and I've actually got an extra one also because I tried to buy one online and the guy sold it to me as a mirror image. How cute. But anyway, um, one of these days I'll get cable. Uh, and because uh, I've got the other cable, I've got the Juggernaut Build a Figure um, uh, cable. But I don't have the um, um, the one for Wendigo, unfortunately. And that's and that's the the more comic book accurate version. The other one is actually from Exanction, uh, which was also a comic book, but it is what it is. Let's put a couple characters up here to compare the size. Like you know, you got the um, Man Thing over there. The uh, excuse me, the Swamp Thing. You got um, uh, Wendigo. You got this guy here. Let's put up a couple more characters. Let's see what what about this guy right here? Oh my God. Oh my God, he just dwarfs him. Not even really. And that's about that's about what I would figure should be accurate for this guy here, you know? Got uh, the lizard over here. This guy's going to be fun to stand up. I uh, just got to put him there. Anyway, that's <laughs> how he's in general supposed to go. There we go. He's standing. So, you can see all these guys in comparison. You can put Colossus up here, the... Uh, the uh, original Warlock Build-A-Figure Colossus. Oh, you know, I should have gotten Warlock, because I think Warlock, besides Iron Man here, eh, it's hanging up on my shelf. I don't feel like going over there to grab it. We put him up against with, uh, so far, the biggest Hulk that I own. The, uh, the, um, um, uh, came with Hela, the, the Gladiator Hulk. There we go. <laughs> I can put this on him also. Hey, you got to be able to see through that thing. So you can see about the size of the guy there. Not too shabby. He's he's huge. You know what I'm saying? He's huge. Just the way that he should be. And, I mean, you could tell the obvious inspiration. I mean, they've all got the little <laughs> crotch hair protection there. But you could tell how similar he is to uh, Sasquatch. 
but at the same time, you can also tell how radically different he is from him also. Um, some of the hair tufts are very similar, but not the same. This one's much longer than this one. The hair goes everywhere, as opposed to this one all going groomed back. Um, more uh, shoulder tufts up there. Um, almost the exact same, if not the exact same on the legs, whatever. Um, but like the face, so completely different. Wow. Um, I wouldn't mind if this one came with two different uh, heads also, but honestly, not even remotely on my radar. Like, barely. Like It's like trying to find something to complain about. Um, no, this is absolutely gorgeous. Love that head. I, like, why else wouldn't he be screaming? You know, he's always screaming, Wendigo! All right, and for the sake of brevity, boom, there you have it. You got all six of the uh, regular figures and the BAF, the Build-A-Figure itself, Wendigo. This is the latest, well, as of the time of this video, of the, uh, the Marvel Legends figures. Guys, if you can get your hands on them in the stores, by all means, do so. But remember, the stuff in the store is mostly for the stragglers. The best way to get these things, pre-order them. If you're not going to get them at the same price, you might even just get them a little bit cheaper that way. I'm just saying, you're paying retail for them regardless. It always hurts my head when somebody says, I can't find them in the stores. Why did you wait so long? <laughs> Why did you honestly wait so long? So talk to your comic book dealer, uh, your local comic book store. They can order them for you directly through Diamond, uh, who will deal directly with Hasbro. You can go to, um, you know... Uh, what do you call it? Some of these other bigger stores. There's lots of other stores out there. And by all means, they are happy to take an online order for you. Wherever you are in the world, There's <laughs> there's got to be some way. And I don't know for certain, but I know here in Canada, um, we can get stuff from America if we absolutely need to. But there are places here also. There's, there's uh, online, there's eBay, Walmart, um, what do you call it, the, 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 uh, the Amazon, all sorts of places where you can get this stuff pre-ordered. And I highly recommend doing that. Um, these things are advertised quickly enough. You find out about these things. You look at them. You really think long and hard. Do you want to try and find just a bunch of pieces? Do you want to build the Build-A-Figure or not? Because if you do, you just order the whole darn thing. That's what you do. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University, the Toy Division, class dismissed.